All right, all right. So my watch is at the parcel location. I have to pick it up. We have to do this quickly because I can't wait to pick up my watch. You'll see tomorrow. <laughs> right, so we are inside Verbs with the basics, which is part of the complete beginner path. Task number 10, sitemap and issue definitions. On To my right, you'll see that the attack box will load. It will finish in a second. Until then, we can read. The target tab in Burp Suit provides more than just control over the scope of our testing. It consists of three sub tabs, sitemap, issue definitions and scope settings. Let's fire up Burp and also fire up one Firefox session. The sitemap, this sub tab allows us to map out the web applications we are targeting in a tree structure. Uh, let's see this in action. Right, we have our website, try hack me. We jump into Burp. Actually, from Foxy Proxy extension, we enable Burp. We explained in the previous video how to install Foxy Proxy and how to set it up. So we pick up Burp from there. We go inside Burp. And in Burp, we make sure that the proxy is on. From here, we go, this is okay. Web sockets. This is okay. From here, we kick a refresh to try hack me. We jump in here. We go forward with this. And uh, our get request is basically initialized. We go forward with that and we go to the target. We have the sitemap, scope and issue definitions. And inside sitemap. This sub tab allows us to map out the web applications we are targeting in a tree structure. You can see over here everything that was basically accessed and we have it like in a tree structure, hierarchical structure. Every page that we simply visited while the proxy is active will be displayed on this sitemap. This feature enables us to automatically generate a sitemap by simply browsing the web application. In Burpsy Professional, we can also use this sitemap to perform automated crawling of the target, exploring links between pages and mapping out as much of the site as possible. Even with Burpsy Community, we can still utilize the sitemap to accumulate data during our initial enumeration step. It is particularly useful for mapping out APIs as any API endpoint accessed by the web application will be captured in the sitemap here. So in th we have also, as I said uh, previously, we have a complete room for Zap, which is the free tool, the, the competitor, uh, let's say, of Burp. It's, um, I don't like to think it, it's a competitor. I like to think it as uh, an addition. It's basically a Dust tool that does approximately the same thing um, from a Wasp, which is free. Zap is free. Uh, the um, automation process that we have in the professional uh, Burp Suit Professional Edition, the automated crawling, is basically just jumping into a website like you saw with Try Hack Me and just start clicking links, hyperlinks, right? So Zap because it's free, has this scrolling like automated, but in the professional Burp suit you also have it. Right, uh, issue definitions. Although Burp community does not include the full vulnerability scanning functionality available in Burp suit professional, we still have access to a list of all the vulnerabilities that the scanner looks for. The issue definition section provides an extensive list of web vulnerabilities complete with descriptions and references. These resources can be valuable for referencing vulnerabilities in reports or assisting in describing a particular vulnerability that may have been identified during manual testing. So as we can see here from issue definition inside target, we can see basically if we click on any kind of vulnerability, expat injection, we have description, remediation, references, vulnerability classifications, type severity, typical severity and type index. Amazing resource, amazing, amazing and a quick uh, a cheat sheet basically to any vulnerability, right? Amazing resource. Scope settings, 
this setting allows us to control the target scope in Burp Suite. It enables us to include or exclude specific domain IPs to define the scope of our testing. By managing the scope, we can focus on the web applications we are specifically targeting and avoid capturing unnecessary traffic. Overall, the target tab offers features beyond scoping, allowing us to map out the web applications, fine tune our target scope and access a comprehensive list of web vulnerabilities for reference purposes and we have a challenge which is cool okay we actually have to copy this we let's go in the we have the proxy on i'll drop that i will drop actually i will close this one i will reopen it and we'll jump over here into a new tab and paste this and go it will not go further because proxy the proxy burp suit proxy will is the first uh, step so challenge take a look around the website we will be using this a lot throughout the module visit every other page that is linked on the home page then check your sitemap one endpoint should stand out as being very unusual. Visit this in our browser or use the response section of the sitemap entry for that endpoint. Daniel, you can see over there a little kitty. What's up, Daniel? His food is, is over there in a card box. His food just arrived in a card box and I always let him play with it. Alrighty, so I'll jump over here. So we are inside our home page on our target and we have to visit every other link from the home page. We see our products, we see about us and basically the safe way to your all right, submit a ticket that's also link privacy and contact. Let's jump in these two, our products. Let's forward this request see our products we go back i'll drop this we go about us forward our mission let's go back and submit also a ticket interesting interesting stuff and i think we're good let's go back to the home page and let's go inside the target and here let's see let's see let's see inside our target we see something here which is unusual as you can see it over here in the body of the response actually the request was this was to this endpoint which is very unusual right and in the response we actually see the flag that we are looking for answer the questions below what is the flag you receive after visiting the unusual endpoint <laughs> Boom, there you go. Awesome. 